we're gonna install our aluminum rear pull arm and knuckle, uh, basically making the rear suspension of the bike a little bit stronger on the underneath side and adding a considerable amount of bling if I don't say so myself. So let's go ahead and pull off the stock parts and install the aluminum parts and we'll get started right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bike. I think the easiest way to do this for myself is to turn the bike on its side here. Um, we basically need to pull this knuckle off and this pull rod and we're gonna start by removing the hinge pins here. There's two uh, M2.5 screws. So use your one millimeter, 1.5 millimeter hex driver here and pull off these screws. They basically act as caps for the hinge pins. And then we can use our two millimeter driver here and take this pin screw out that actually connects the pull rod to the knuckle. And now those parts are kind of separated. And I'm actually gonna flip the bike over and you can see here, there's kind of this half blind hole and we can go ahead and push those pins out uh, through those holes. And when we turn the bike back over, those pins are most of the way out and we'll just pull them the rest of the way out. There's our pull rod and then our knuckle is still connected to the shock. So you can see the bottom shock screw here is still connected in the knuckle. So we'll grab our two mil and pull that screw pin out and our knuckle. So move the bike over to the side a little bit. So we have our uh, knuckle here and our pull rod got the aluminum versions. So we just need to pop these bushings out. There's four bushings in the knuckle and there's two here in the pull rod. So I'll just grab my 1.5, just kind of push those out. All right, so we got all six bushings here on the table. Take the plastic parts and move them out of the way. Take our aluminum part here and we'll put those bushings in. Now the bushings are, they fit pretty good, but they are not a press fit exactly. So we will need to kind of keep an eye on them not falling out as we go to assemble this uh, like that one just did. So we want to make sure we kind of keep it level. It'll keep the bushings in better. And same thing for the pull rod. So I'm actually going to install the pull rod first onto the bike. It's actually the easier one to do. So we'll go ahead and go over here to the bottom of the bike. Now there's two different sides here. There's a threaded side and an open side with no threads. It's actually a larger diameter. So to keep the bike assembled the same way, we want that larger diameter here on the left. So we'll basically slide this up into the gap there and that lower skid plate. And then we'll run this hinge pin in the hole and we'll just get everything aligned. And then this hinge pin will run through the part, through the bushings, and over to the other side. And then we'll grab our M2.5 screw and our 1.5 driver and just lock that pin in. And then we're actually gonna do the same assembly here for, oh, there goes one of our bushings, I warned you. Uh, we're gonna do our same assembly here for the knuckle into the swing arm. So we'll get basically push this knuckle between the swing arm and get that guy in there, line it up, and then we'll get the pin installed here. Okay, And then we'll grab our 2.5 millimeter screw and our 1.5 driver and we'll put that cap screw in to hold that pin in. Now I'm actually gonna put the, the bike back on the stand here for a second. Uh, I need to put the screw in to the lower knuckle that mounts the shock before we install the pull rod. So we have two pin screws here. You can see we got a short one and a long one. The short one's for the shock. The long one is for the suspension uh, Connect where the pull rod connects to the knuckle. So we'll kind of get this shock lined up and we'll put this pin screw in. Now we definitely want to put a little thread lock on this guy. So we'll grab our TLR lock here and 
Also a good idea to clean the screw before you apply the thread lock. So we'll grab some Dynamite Magna Force 2 here and just spray a little bit on the rag. And then I will grab this two millimeter driver and just run the threads through. Make sure they're nice and clean. So you can see a little bit of dark spot there. And we'll apply some thread lock. And then I'm actually gonna get the screw mounted here and then I'll run the driver through it. All right, now we can swing back over to the other side and now we just wanna make sure that we still have both bushings here in the bottom of the knuckle and we do and that's all lined up. So we'll pull our pull rod up until those holes overlap and intersect and we'll put our pin screw in and we'll do the same thing as the other one where we'll clean the threads. And clean that off, add a little bit of thread lock. And run that pin into the parts and then tighten it down here with the driver. And now we have our aluminum pull rod and knuckle installed here on the bottom of the Promoto MX and we're ready to hit some big jumps and land them too.